Hey there, fellow time travelers. Do you remember those days when television was a simpler pleasure and you eagerly tuned in for a dose of pure cinematic magic? Ah, I'm talking about the captivating year of 1976, a time when the world was grooving to disco beats and the iconic movie Bound for Glory hit the screens with its heartwarming tale. Now, before we delve into the fascinating world of random facts about this classic, let's take a moment to reminisce. Do you recall the first time you watched Bound for Glory? Maybe it was with your family gathered around a cozy living room, or perhaps you stumbled upon it late one night. I'd love to hear about your favorite moments, those unforgettable characters that touched your heart, and the unique experiences you had while watching this cinematic gem. Was it the awe-inspiring cinematography that left you speechless, or the unforgettable performances that still give you chills? Share your cherished memories with us, and let's take a nostalgic trip down memory lane together. Alright, now that we've unlocked those precious recollections, let's dive into some intriguing random facts about Bound for Glory. Get ready to be wowed by the behind-the-scenes tales and hidden gems that make this movie a timeless masterpiece. Stay tuned for more, my fellow movie buffs, and let's celebrate the magic of cinema. Bound for Glory, a 1976 biographical film directed by Hal Ashby, is a captivating exploration of the life of folk singer and social activist Woody Guthrie. Based on Guthrie's own autobiography, the film traces his journey from the Dust Bowl of Oklahoma to the vibrant folk music scene of 1930s America. David Carradine delivers a powerful performance as Guthrie, embodying the singer's passion for music and social justice. The film's unique style lies in its use of music as a driving force, with Guthrie's iconic folk songs seamlessly integrated into the narrative. These songs not only serve as a backdrop but also as a means of expressing the struggles and aspirations of the characters, making the music an integral part of the storytelling. Bound for Glory had a significant impact on popular culture by shedding light on Guthrie's influential role in shaping the American folk music movement and his dedication to social activism. The film's portrayal of Guthrie as a working-class hero resonated with audiences and contributed to a renewed interest in folk music during the 1970s. In summary, Bound for Glory is a remarkable cinematic journey that celebrates the life and legacy of Woody Guthrie, combining his timeless music with a compelling narrative to create a lasting impact on both film and folk music history. Chris Christopherson's decision and fictional characters in Bound for Glory in the making of the 1976 movie Bound for Glory, several interesting behind-the-scenes facts emerge. One notable fact is that Chris Christopherson, a renowned actor and musician, declined the lead role of Woody Guthrie. His reason? Christopherson believed he didn't quite fit the physical profile of Guthrie. Instead, the role went to David Carradine. Another intriguing aspect of the film is its characters. Almost all of them, except for Woody Guthrie and his wife Mary, are entirely fictional. This means that Ozark Buell, among others, never existed in real life, adding a layer of artistic imagination to the movie. Lastly, the movie's casting decisions had their own unique twists. Melinda Dillon was originally cast as Woody Guthrie's wife, Mary. She enjoyed her work on the film so much that when her scenes were wrapped up, she felt a sense of loss. Director Hal Ashby, sensing her disappointment, decided to cast her as Memphis Sue, offering her more substantial involvement in the project. These fascinating tidbits shed light on the creative and human elements that shaped Bound for Glory and made it a memorable piece of cinema. In the 1976 movie Bound for Glory, directed by Hal Ashby, there's an interesting connection to the 1940 film The Grapes of Wrath. Woody Guthrie, a folk singer-songwriter, served as an uncredited music consultant on The Grapes of Wrath, which starred John Carradine, the father of David Carradine, who played the lead role of Woody Guthrie in Bound for Glory. This unique family tie links the two films through the involvement of Woody Guthrie and the Carradine family in both projects. Robert De Niro was offered the role of Woody Guthrie in Bound for Glory, but he was unavailable at the time. Instead, David Carradine took on the role and delivered a notable performance that earned him critical acclaim. Additionally, Bound for Glory holds the distinction of being the first film to use a long Steadicam tracking shot. This innovative technique was operated by its inventor, Garrett Brown, under the supervision of director of photography Haskell Wexler. 
This groundbreaking use of the Steadicam added a new dimension to the film's cinematography, capturing dynamic and fluid shots that contributed to its visual storytelling. In conclusion, Bound for Glory is not only a noteworthy film for its portrayal of Woody Guthrie's life, but also for its connections to other cinematic works and its pioneering use of the Steadicam. These elements make it a significant milestone in the history of filmmaking. In 1976, the movie Bound for Glory hit the big screen, bringing to life the legendary folk singer Woody Guthrie. Interestingly, the film almost had a very different lead actor. Hal Ashby, the director, initially offered the role to Jack Nicholson. However, Nicholson declined, feeling that he couldn't quite see himself as Woody Guthrie. Instead, he suggested Bob Dylan for the part, a choice that would have undoubtedly added another layer of authenticity to the character. On another note, Dustin Hoffman expressed interest in playing Woody Guthrie, but he had specific demands. Hoffman wanted three months of rest and three months to learn how to play the guitar. The producers were unwilling to meet these conditions, ultimately leading to him not taking on the role. Furthermore, Richard Dreyfuss was also offered the opportunity to portray Woody Guthrie. However, negotiations faltered due to his salary expectations, which exceeded the film's budget. In the end, Bound for Glory found its Woody Guthrie and David Carradine, and the film went on to receive critical acclaim, earning two Academy Awards for Best Cinematography and Best Original Song Score. The movie's journey to the big screen was filled with intriguing casting possibilities and negotiations, highlighting the challenges and complexities of bringing a historical figure like Woody Guthrie to life in a motion picture. In the 1976 movie Bound for Glory, a pivotal Steadicam sequence showcased the skilled work of operator Garrett Brown. This memorable scene involved David Carradine's portrayal of Woody Guthrie strolling through a migrant camp. To capture this moment, Brown descended into the scene using a Chapman crane, all while following Carradine's footsteps. This seemingly simple sequence on film presented a significant challenge. As Brown stepped off the crane platform with his bulky equipment, the grips had to counterbalance the crane arm swiftly. Their goal was to prevent it from transforming into an inadvertent human catapult. Interestingly, Chris Christopherson, a notable actor of the time, turned down the lead role of Woody Guthrie in the film. He declined the opportunity, citing physical reasons for not feeling right to play the iconic character. This decision ultimately led to David Carradine taking on the role and delivering a compelling performance. Bound for Glory is a classic film that not only showcases the technical prowess of Steadicam operation, but also illustrates the casting decisions that shape the course of cinematic history. Power and Predators, the dark side of Hollywood's unbalanced dynamics, and its toll on Bound for Glory's cast member in the glitzy world of Hollywood, power dynamics can often cast a shadow on the silver screen. This was no different for the 1976 movie Bound for Glory. Behind the scenes, the industry's unequal power structures took their toll on the cast, leaving a lasting impact on one particular member. The Hollywood dream machine had its fair share of dark secrets in 1976, and Bound for Glory didn't escape unscathed. Exploitation and abuse lurked beneath the glitz and glamour, affecting those who were part of this cinematic journey. The film, which told the life story of folk singer Woody Guthrie, starred David Carradine in the lead role. Carradine, like many others in Hollywood, faced challenges tied to power dynamics. The industry's powerful figures held sway over contracts, roles, and opportunities, which sometimes led to exploitation and abuse. Carradine, in his pursuit of fame and success, grappled with the hidden pressures of Hollywood stardom. The fame he gained from Bound for Glory came at a cost. Behind the scenes, the struggle for control and dominance in the film industry left scars on many actors, including Carradine. While the cast of Bound for Glory achieved critical acclaim for their performances, the dark side of Hollywood's power dynamics took a toll on their personal lives. Exploitation, abuse, and the constant battle for recognition left an indelible mark on Carradine and his colleagues. In an industry known for its secrecy, the true extent of the exploitation and abuse remains hidden in the vaults of Hollywood's enigmatic archives. The stories of those who suffered in silence, like Carradine, raise questions about the price of fame and the need for a more equitable Hollywood. In the end, Bound for Glory may have showcased the life of a folk legend, but it also shed light on the hidden struggles within the industry itself. 
Hollywood's power dynamics, while giving rise to fame and fortune, also left behind a legacy of exploitation and abuse. As we look back at the 1976 movie Bound for Glory, we must not forget the real-life struggles of its cast members and the broader issues of power and predation that still haunt Hollywood today. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the cinematic landscape of 1,976 seconds bound for glory, it's time to let the echoes of Woody Guthrie's melodies linger in the corners of your mind. This remarkable film encapsulated the spirit of an era, transporting us to the Dust Bowl of the 1930s, where dreams soared as high as the Oklahoma skies. Now, pause for a moment. Reflect on the resonance of this tale, the indomitable spirit of the characters, and the music that wove its way into your soul. Perhaps you felt the dust on your skin, heard the strum of Woody's guitar, or saw the endless expanse of American dreams stretching before you. Maybe it stirred memories of your own journey, your own aspirations, your own battles. We invite you to share those cherished memories and thoughts like a collective campfire where we all gather to recount our experiences with Bound for Glory. Did it inspire you to chase your dreams relentlessly? Did it kindle a newfound love for folk music? Or did it simply remind you of the power of resilience in the face of adversity? Your voice adds a unique harmony to the chorus of memories this movie has inspired over the years. So, don't hesitate to share your thoughts, anecdotes, or reflections in the comments below. Let's celebrate the timeless allure of cinema and the stories that leave an indelible mark on our hearts. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic journey through Bound for Glory. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated, and we look forward to hearing your thoughts. Until next time, keep dreaming, keep singing, and keep embracing the magic of the movies. With warm regards.